is dark energy a real thing? Well, <laughs> we're not sure. Look, um, to the best of our understanding, about 70% of the mass energy composition of the universe is this unknown substance that seems to be responsible for the uh, accelerating expansion of the universe. So as far as we know, the best understanding that we have had thus far, that we have to date, uh, about 4 to 5% of the matter of the universe, matter energy composition of the universe, is visible matter. Everything we see in the in the night sky, all the stars, galaxies, nebulae, pulsars, quasars, everything, dust, all of that is about 5%. Everything we see is 5%. About 25% or so is dark matter. Now, dark matter, we have some understanding of it. It's some kind of uh, particle or family of particles or class of particles. Uh, it could also be explained by modified Newton, Newtonian gravity, MOND, but dark matter is definitely much more tangible, but dark energy, we haven't the least idea of what it is. Is it is it an ex additional force? Is it is it, a, is it a fifth force? Is it, uh, is it a fluid of some kind? We don't know. Uh, so we don't know. It's, it's extremely mysterious. It's something that causes the accelerating expansion of the universe. And there's this new theory, the timescape theory that's recently become, uh, that's come out and become well known, which says that there is no dark energy and it's actually um, the differential passage of time in different parts of the universe that causes the accelerating expansion of the universe. We know that uh, from the uh, from theory of general relativity, we know that uh, matter affects the 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 rate at which time passes and uh, there are parts of the universe that are absolute voids that, where there's no matter so time passes at a different speed over there compared at, at a faster rate over there compared to regions of the universe where you have a lot of matter like uh, dark matter filaments and gal galaxy superclusters and so on it's, so it's because of this different rate at which time passes that we have this expansion of the universe and that's what the theory says it's a very interesting theory and it seems to solve a lot of problems but it's early days for that so we're not sure if dark energy is even a real thing and that's why yeah yeah that's that's how interesting physics is we know we understand so little of the universe right now